Good day everybody, welcome back to the studio. I hope everybody's doing ecstatically well. Well, what a miserable rainy day it is today. But this piece was done yesterday when it was nice and sunny and a uh, really happy, happy, happy pouring for me. So, I've got a new mould. It's a big geometric heart mould. And, uh, yep, I just uh, poured some clear resin around the edges or the edge rather the continuous heart shaped edge with some iridescent crushed glass and now starting to pour in some of my colors so this is a ruby red epoxy uh, lorez epoxy paste it's going in first and then i've got a little bit of um uh, bronze powder pigment which is beautiful I underestimate this bronze because it's like a golden bronze it's so gorgeous and now the port wine epoxy paste coming in all of these pastes are mixed by me you guys so they're quite unique and special I think they're special anyway um, and just uh, yeah a little bit more just alternating colors uh, all of that bronze coming in look at that bronze just look at it my goodness so all the, the, the pattern is going to be a little bit wild because everything is kind of falling wherever it wants to fall because you've got that geometric pattern underneath there and just using the heat gun just to sort of move things around a little bit and my spatula I'm like come on start moving start moving it's really hard to to just pour over this just simply like that because you have those barriers and they won't allow a lot of flow so now i'm just going with my white i want to try and create a, a bit of a crackling effect and whenever you do um, a pigment uh, powder over the top of any transparent you'll get that crackling it's so simple and easy really it's not no drama at all there um, so that is done now just tidying up the edges a little bit it looks pretty funky already so now just cleaning up my palette knives and these are so awesome because you can use them and use them and reuse them forever forever and ever and ever as my grandson says so now that I've done all of that cleaned up everything now I'm just going to pour my clear over the whole thing and look at that doesn't it look amazing the structure it's just like wow looks pretty cool so i just need to top it all up so it goes all the way to the top of the resin you know so that you get you get a, a good piece at the end of it i actually like it even like this but it will it will kind of all gather in the middle as it does and that's what you do so yep just going around and uh, tidying up the edges because I've got some clear um, sort of spots and wow so I've got a wax stamp and what I did was I got some gold wax and I stamped it and then I popped it in my uh, my design there because I had that clear um, sort of just sitting there and I didn't want it to be clear so I decided to pop it in and pray to all the resin gods that the color doesn't seep underneath it and to not show my initials there and I can still see a little bit of clear there so that's why I popped in some glass diamond Good dust. Good morning everyone Here welcome back I tell you what I, I've already demolded it but I really love this side as well. But wait till you see the other side. Look, 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 look. I've got my little initials there. That was the, oh my God, it's so cool. That was just like um, one of those wax stamps. I'm glad that, yeah, that the, the colors didn't sort of seep underneath and there's no bubbles so that worked out pretty good and when you 
take this mold out be careful because there's all of these kind of like gaps in there that you have to pull out just do it slowly from one end and just keep going but wow i really love this i actually love the design i love this the crushed glass is looking really great it's so nice and smooth oh there's a couple of there's an area there that i think i need to just sand just a little bit it's just that crushed glass i think everything else is great wow and i do have some crackling i, I wanted that to happen but i wasn't sure how it's going to work out because of all of these bumps you know you don't have that that's the technical so you don't get that a nice spread but uh yeah i still have them um, somewhere more somewhere less but i love it uh, anyway you let me know what you think um i really appreciate all your comments and um if you're interested in this particular mold i do have some in the shop so uh, pop in and have a look and grab yourself one imagine doing like one two three four of these and make a really nice big like a platter or a big placemat wouldn't that be awesome anywho just a suggestion thanks for watching bye for now